Hi, this is James Samuel. This is the 17th of March, and I'm sitting down here in Christchurch with Russell Fitz, who's chairman of Indranet Technologies. We've had the most amazing discussion, and I wanted to capture this because it's important information. And um, just before we started the interview, Russell put down a, a quote from um, Bill Gates, who referred to this company as um, a Kiwi company that's developed uh, a, a a new system for um, for creating energy and um, so Russell can you tell me you know why why do we need a new system for creating energy well energy is a, a scarce resource and it's getting scarcer by the day and if you look at the for example the electricity supply industry particularly into the coal this coal fired generation there's huge losses from the time the energy is actually used to produce that electricity the time it's actually used and in the way that people use that electricity. So you could be losing up to 80% of the actual energy um, ability um, over the, um, within the system and by the use of that electricity and efficiently. So Indranet has been looking at the ways of efficiently providing distributed energy because that means that electricity generated at source is um, efficiently used because you don't have wastage then in lines and being able to use alternative forms of energy to generate that electricity. Okay. And, and um, so what, how does it work? I mean, what's, what are the, the key elements of it, of the system? We've looked at um, compressed air as being the energy carrying medium for generating electricity and heating that air externally um, and using um, the, the heat that's generated um, to expand the air and then run that through into a, an expander device which can then run an electricity generator. Um, we also look at using the heat that's generated to use that again so we can recuperate a lot of the heat so thereby not wasting energy in waste heat as you would an internal combustion engine. Um, the system that we're using also provides other benefits such as um, heating which could be used for heating hot water <coughs> or when you're working with compressed air you can have cooling so you can be using that for refrigeration or air conditioning or again if you have um, compressed air you can start to use that air supply for filtration um, for grey water. So how, how long have you, has this been um, being evolved and you know when did this begin and, and where are you at with it now? With what stage are you at? Um, well, we've been developing the system for uh, a number of uh, a number of years. Been certainly been looking at compressed air as a as a carrying medium. Um, in particular, um, we're now at that latter stage of the development of our first uh, design system, and we're expecting to finish that in the next two weeks. We then have uh, a number of um, projects, flagship projects, which we have selected. Uh, which are based in Australia and New Zealand, um, which we, we will be replicating the, uh, the, the system <coughs> to um, showcase that to um, the, the, the wider community and also seeking, using those to seek other projects. Okay, so um, is there anything else that you want to tell us about it before um, making sure that you let people know what the website is so that they can go and explore this further? Well, there's, there's a global race for um, better energy systems, particularly solar, um, solar energy. Um, our system is being designed so that it produces, it, it can move and transition to solar, uh, solar energy, uh, and we very much want to be a, a part of that, uh, of that growing gold rush to um, provide solar, um, affordable solar e energy solutions in addition to be having the co-generation and tri-generation capabilities of the um, compressed air engine systems. So when, as we were speaking earlier, you, you talked about the, um, the empowerment of communities and that was an aspect um, from my um, position as, as being somebody supporting transition towns and the move towards relocalization, which was very exciting. Do you want to just talk a little bit about that just briefly? Yeah, our company philosophy, it's very much customer based and it's about providing communities the ability to be able to have tools which they can resource themselves with and grow their own businesses. 
um, they then have the capability where they can use um, our um, distributed energy um, products and integrate that with our mesh network technology to then start to provide revenue opportunities selling additional services within the communities. So that's a, that is a real advantage for um, individuals and communities to move into a self-sustainable um, protective environment if, if that's what they're seeking. Fantastic. And, and what, what is the website? www.indranet.co.nz Great. Thank you very much, Russell. I, I look forward to following this with great interest. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.